Hello guys, it's Crazy Zero, and um, today I'm gonna be doing some uh, thinking, some very, very crucial thinking today. Uh, yes, I did not have the face cam up. I'm not trying to have the face cam up. But again, like I said, I'm just trying to think here. I'm trying to like strategize my situation for this league. Um, <clears throat> but since I'm gonna be guessing Charizard, and I don't know if he's gonna be able to participate, there's a might be a dropout. He might drop out. I don't know. He might even forfeit. I don't know. But we could think all the strategies we could think about because he hasn't chosen his mom yet. So. There's so much to go into the information I'm doing with Charizard as to challenging him in a match on this league. And even though the the whole uh, starting of the league starts on the uh, next week, uh, again, we still don't have any information from Charizard. So we've been getting in trying to trying to get in contact with Charizard, so we could figure out what his picks are, what can we expect from Charizard. But until then, we got nothing from Charizard. So if next week, if you see a video from us next week, me versus Charizard, then you have that video up. If you do not see a video for that entire week uh, I will announce the week afterwards that you know due to certain things that was that uh, Charizard can do and it's, he just forfeit the match basically like that he just forfeit and I just went by forfeit um, other than that we have West Coast and Warlords, and then we have the West Coast uh, Drafferis. Now, I'm trying to go over their set or their particular team because I'm looking at this uh, this whole set right here that I'm just gonna bring right up. Um, since uh, Drafferi basically has like a pretty good, decent amount of uh, Pokemon here compared to what I have picked out of my team and then uh, since I don't have any Megas that's the only problem I have right now is I don't have any Megas I do have a Z mute a Z user but other than that I really don't have Megas like the rest of the guys so that kind of sucks on my part but I'm hoping that it still plays a good part on my side even though I don't have Megas but hopefully we'll see what happens and the same thing for uh, again West Costume Lillards he has a good variety of team here but I don't think that uh, Warlord's, uh squad could really like take me out Compared to how I think about um, uh, West Coast uh, Drafferis, I think they might have a good team, depending. I don't know. I mean, other than that, I feel like other than that, the only person I'm kind of more worried about is the Lake of Rage with his squad, because his, his squad is pretty thick and really going to be that one squad that going to be difficult to deal with then you have uh, the Talos Flames here that also seems like a very very interesting setting team a little bit bulky in their squad but not so much some of their squad is kind of frail I'm not really worried because I do have a little bulk on my side as well uh, you also have the Atlantic uh, Rowlets. That's another thing where it comes to bulk. They have he, he does he also have bulk on his side of his group. Uh, 
one hit it is a good squad as well that is probably will see more of the trouble having trouble with because you could fear the slow bro more than you could fear the rest of the team here um, same thing with uh, the Miami uh, the Miami Gorbis uh, the Miami uh, I can't I can't even pronounce the name right but the Miami Gorbis basically I don't feel like I'm much of a threat from the the Mega Caesar. Probably just a little bit, just a tiny bit from the uh, Mimi Cube. Not really from the Mega Metagross because I mean Metagross. At least it's not Mega Metagross, and I don't have to worry about Mega Metagross. So that's a good thing. But overall, he does have a rapid spinner, so that's one thing I could be like potentially it about. Uh, and other than that, his Mega Caesar could run Defog as well. So, yeah, that's one of those other things where I'm like, okay, well, let's see what runs Rapid Spin. Let's we'll see what, what's, let's see what doesn't, you know, have the potential to uh, Defog or Rapid Spin. Because um, if I have, like, setups on any, on my team, then trying to either between like slowing them down or not slowing them down probably you know doing anything like stealth frogs or not stealth frogs uh it's it's good to know which what, what are we going going into basically um but yeah i mean like i said during this whole entire uh draft everybody put a pretty much pick like a good set team here or they pick a good set of Pokemon to use uh, I know a lot of people are going to be fearing my squad because of the fact because I have Togekiss and Togekiss as everybody does know about my Togekiss it is one of the most scary monsters to deal with because it does get that guarantee to flinch same as Jirachi sometimes and that's a rare for Jirachi it should be always, but it's definitely rare. Uh, but yeah, I guess out of my whole entire team, I think that's the team that that's the only two mods that people will fear. Uh, I heard about Stilla. Stilla, Stilla, Stilla is another feared Pokemon. I haven't used Stilla, Stilla in a good competitive step battle, so uh, this is a one in a lifetime chance to actually testing Stilla, Stilla out. There's a lot of Pokemon that I haven't tried and I can't wait to try because this is really a little bit unusual for the squad I usually, you know, use. So, um, but other than that, we have two OU Mons, two UU Mons, two RU Mons, and two NU Mons. Again, like I said, everybody has a Mega Stone set for me. I do have one Z move, I don't know what other items that other um, coaches have because I didn't really like go over the Z move items because I mean it's Z move items it's Z move items I'm not really like concerned about the Z move items and other than that they can't use signature Z move items anyway so all I kind of really did care about was the Mega Stone part because that was the only thing I could be able to like really care for as to because Zimas are like you you could put it on any Pokemon and they could be that and they could use that exact same Zima except for Mega Stones so that's why I have the Mega Stones listed here instead of having the Zimas listed uh, but yeah again that's one of those things, like I said, it's really, really, truly, truly difficult to figuring out what to do. And that is a thing where I'm trying to figure out, should I do this, should I do that? How would I go around with this? How would I go around that? If I go this way, maybe I could win. If I go that way, I might be able to win. But we don't know. We just don't know. We 
really don't know until we get into a situation dealing with uh, Charizard again. That's the only issue we have right now is trying to figure out if Charizard does come online on the uh, uh, Discord and actually talk to me about is he gonna stay? Is he gonna be joining? Is he gonna actually, you know, forfeit his position and that just push me up here to the semifinals and I just have to wait for who else on that side gets to the semifinals and the same thing for everybody else they be getting to that semifinals. But hey, it is the best of best three out of three. It's the best out of three. I would say, yeah, it's basically a best out of three, so you have to have three matches in for those three weeks to determine who goes into the final, the semifinals, and then another best of the three to go into the finals, and then the best of three in that finals is the actual winner, and that's pretty much how it goes for this uh, league. But again, I just wanted to like talk to you guys, do a little bit of an analyze on the draft itself, the tournament and whatnot. Uh, and then talk about the Pokemon basically what I have to deal with or maybe dealing with, potentially dealing with and you know it is what it is. So, see you guys. Bye.